Hi everyone, my name is Missy Lee. I'd like to thank you guys in advance for coming this evening, and I know it's late, so I really appreciate your time and your attention. I'm very excited to present my startup business idea. Feel free to jump in if you have questions. It's you know very informal. I'm going to explain the name in a second. I'm going to get right to the meat of your presentation. Did you guys know that the average liquor store's revenue is about $1.3 million annually? Okay, so this is important stuff here. And liquor stores estimate, particularly I spoke with the owner of Berbilia, who, by the way, says to tell you hi. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. What does that mean? I'm always in the liquor store. <laughs> but actually, I have a slide for you just for that. Um, that he could grow his business by 30% by offering delivery. Okay. And we have this question of whether you could deliver in Kansas and Missouri. You can make <coughs> liquor delivery at home in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, so take that 1.3, 30%. I'm talking about an increase in annual revenue for a liquor store by $400,000 for at-home delivery. And I spoke with Jack Bondman. Yes. Uh, at Berbilia to get these bats and Hoover's. So what is my big idea? Well, clearly you saw my name, and I knew when it was up on the first PowerPoint, and I knew my name had to be sticky because we read made to stick. I went out and I researched, had quicker liquor ever been used anywhere on the internet? There are quicker liquor stores, but they are not in Kansas City, and they're certainly not spelled as cleverly as I did. <laughs> and what I'm proposing is that I'm gonna be Jack's outsourced home delivery for liquor. He says that right now he delivers between 9 to 4, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, which doesn't really work very well for working adults. But he would like to deliver more. He just didn't want the, uh, the additional cost or the insurance issues. And I have a solution for him. So I want to be the outsourced liquor business model for Casey Liquor Stores and deliver home liquor to your home. I went ahead and put the trademark behind my name because I know from previous experience I'm going to stake my name to, to it by doing that. I learned in our class and in my corporate law class that I want to be a limited liability corp, so I went ahead and named my business Quicker Liquor. We also learned in our capstone class when we went to Think Big Partners that if startup needs to solve a business problem or a business need, so what problem am I solving and who is my target market? Again, this is coming from Jack, very helpful. I want to provide home delivery to those who don't want to be seen in a liquor store. And he said that would give him about a 20% increase in sales. And those are people that, you know, perhaps, he told me some interesting stories of some pretty famous Kansas Cityans who just don't want to be seen in a liquor store where he personally drives their liquor to them. As well as I have a really good friend who is a therapist for uh, drug and alcohol substance abuse folks that are trying to recover. He doesn't want to be seen by his clients in a liquor store, so he's the target market. And then there are those of us, us, oops, not me, us, who perhaps are at home, have a little bit overserved, shouldn't be driving, having a party. Well, guess what? Who you call? You call for your liquor and we will deliver. So, what a great idea. That would be an additional. 10%. So that's where the 30% comes from. How is it going to work? I learned this from Jack and myself. First of all, the customer has to place the order with the liquor store. For Missouri legal law reasons, they have to ring it up in the store. That's the key. You're shaking your head so you clearly know this. My driver will deliver the liquor to the home. In this case, by the way, it's going to be me, owner operator. I have to deliver the liquor to someone who is 21 years of age or older. I can't just drop it off on the porch. <laughs> Somebody has to be there. Sorry, is, are you 21, Israel? You're 20. Sorry, Israel, I can't be delivering to you. <laughs> Customer has shown the ID. Driver returns to store. Jack's currently given delivery between 9 to 4. My hours are going to be 9 to midnight as well, <laughs> Sunday through Thursday. 
Friday and Saturday, 9 to 2.30 in the morning. How will it make money? I have two revenue streams. The first is, Jack told me they already charge a $10 delivery fee. So that's all it's going to cost you to get your liquor delivered from Mobilia. What I want to do is propose an 80-20 split where I take $8 and he keeps two. Because now I'm paying for the gas. I'm going to take the insurance risk, okay? I also want a 7% royalty on that additional $400,000 of revenue that he's going to get. So that's about $28,000 to me. Make sense? Can I make money? Yes, I can. Here are those two royalty streams, or the two income streams that I was talking about. I can make 200 grand. This is an annualized pro forma. My expenses, I got an insurance quote from Progressive. I can use my own auto to do this. I factored in fuel, labor costs. By the way, I'm not paying myself as the owner of this business. So you're smiling. I'm just I'm getting, thinking about you driving an unmarked car so you don't get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait there's, wait, there's a picture of my car coming up. <laughs> Um, and, and I can use the, insur the insurance on my own personal vehicle to be my personal insurance. So, And I know from prior experience what accounting software will cost. So I can make $138,000 if I have, are you ready for this? Because I'm sure you guys want to know how the heck I came up with these numbers. My <coughs> liquor store is on board. So I'm targeting Berbelia, Lucas Liquors. I'm targeting, targeting Royal Liquors. CVS, High V, um, you guys can see where I'm going. I'm going to use part time drivers and myself, and we're going to drive our own cars. Excuse me. Um, five liquor retailers or five stores? Five liquor retailers, so their entire brand. Yeah. So we're all the Gabrielia stores. Mm -hmm. that's, a good, that's a great question. You know, the miles per week, I'm just estimating, you know, 250 miles per week, hoping gas prices go down. I will be driving or working 60 hours a week and not getting paid, but again, I'm getting $138,000 in profit, so I'm not too unhappy. The part-time drivers, I don't want them working any overtime, so I'm not going to have them driving 50 hours a week, but they're going to make minimum wage plus the tips. How many stores am I going to need? This is really important. I figured out that my revenue per store is about $42,000. With five stores we saw, I can make 138,000. Four stores, 96,000. At three stores, I'm making a profit at 55,000. I could drop that by another 42,000 down to 12, but I don't think any of us really wants to live on $12,000 a year. So for me, my break even is three stores to make a profit. So far so good. How much startup? I think I need a website. I know that. The websites can cost a ton of money. Israel, I was so impressed by the way of your web. I'm like, I'm going to hire you. But my brother can do my website for me. I need to get incorporated, you know, get some legal advice, my accounting software. So $6,400 in startup. <coughs> what are the risks? i got to persuade liquor stores to outsource. But the reward to them, they get an additional $400,000, of which I'm only going to take $28,000. I got to change consumer behind buying together. We talked about this a great deal in class. What's the reward? They don't run the risk of a DUI, no offense, and they don't need Israel's insurance. <laughs> or they won't be seen in a liquor store. I have $6,300 in startup costs that I'm going to have to get from the three pools <laughs> friends, pools, and family. But I can make $138,000 in profit. So that's a good reward. Start a plan, got to get my LLC up and running by 4.15, create a marketing strategy by 4.30, website, I've got to get those three liquor store partners on board, can you call Jack for me? I need to have an operating logistics plan for this after hour access to the store, i got to hire and train my drivers, and then i got to start making some money on July 1st. How much is this worth? We talked about business valuation. It's really hard to value a startup business. So I used a couple of rule, rules of thumb. I used two times sales, puts me at $420,000 for a value. Five times even at our profit, about $700,000. <coughs> Trademarks and intellectual property I have in there, about a grand. I think there's a potential for a franchise model if this works in whatever states that it would be legal. So my company is probably worth between four and seven hundred thousand dollars. So my question to you is, 
who's on board, that would be my, my delivery card because I'm an owner operator and I can't afford a van. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? How do you document the royalty? So how do I document the royalty? It's just straight off their sales. The, where's the baseline? I don't try to understand the question. From oh, for what they're currently doing to their after hours business as well as any delivered sales. The royalties from the delivered sales. It's only on their delivered sales. Not online. So whenever someone asks, will you deliver this to me, that ticket, that POS ticket, would say deliver to sale, and I would get 7% of that. Because it's great, it came out of the air. Right. Um, so there's no, we can't automate the business because of legal constraints. So they have to call in, someone has to take the order. Now, that, how do they take an order? So as far as how late they're open, they're sort of, in a way, working for you as well, that they're taking that order after hours. No, what I would like to do is gain the owner's trust that I have a key because I'm going to have to physically go pick up the liquor. So that's that when I was talking about develop the operating and the logistics plans with the owners. We have to deliver that trust, and that's why I said, you know, convince them to outsource because the order has to be placed in the store. So it's either got to forward to my phone so I can take the order, or we so have to. Do you answer Berbelia or do you answer Quicker Liquor? Because I'm trying to figure out what, what what is the consumer thinking of when they're calling that brand? Are they calling that liquor store that they trust? Or are they calling that outsourced? They company? would be calling that liquor store that they trust, and it would be transferred to me. So you're answering as a liquor store? Yes. because So I'm you're sort of private labeling delivery. Precisely. Product. But what I want to do is on our websites, I want to cross promote. I want to have their website tied to my website, so just to help them drive traffic. But, there, but there's no way to automate this, because the, the order has to be manually taken in Missouri and entered into a register and all that stuff. That's the key. Okay. The credit card has to be taken up front. Can, can the websites? Or can, can the liquor stores take an order on their own website? No. Yeah. Has yeah. to be rung up physically in the store okay. in the state. That's that's the How far would you travel just for an order? Like what's your delivery radius? That's an excellent question. It has to stay within the, the Kansas line. City metropolitan the yeah. Kansas City, Missouri yeah. area. But how far would you drive? How how's that how far is that one driver gonna drive? Is he gonna go out to Raytown? If there is a liquor store that we have that's in Raytown, absolutely. That's why I said my fuel numbers, when I was trying to estimate, it depends, it depends on that. But some of these stores I was looking, they have locations all over. So it depends, you know, if I had a driver that lived on the east side, I live, I live right off the state line road. We could cover the metropolitan area. But you can't cross the state line. But I can't cross it. So walk me through a Saturday night. So let's say you've got three orders coming in for this, let's say, one Revelia location. Walk me through how that happens. So you get three calls all within the space of 15 minutes. How do you pull, pack, and deliver that liquor? Exactly what you said. I go to the closest liquor store that I physically am, pick up the liquor, and then go deliver to the street location. So what's your delivery time on that? What are you going to promise them on average? Is it like pizza delivery? Like, we'll see you in an hour, keep drinking? I, I would say maybe an hour or less. So who promotes it, the liquor store? I want to cross promote. But you want them to promote for you also. Yeah, that's why I said cross promote. Like I want my brand and their brand. Yes, how you, sir. How do you do that if you have multiple liquor stores on board with your service? Which is because they're competing. I, and I see, I see your. It's that's that was one of the things that I was thinking about. You have to get that minimum three, so you get five. But they're also getting, they're getting a piece of that. Four hundred thousand dollars. So I think that's enough to entice them, because they're only going to have to pay me twenty eight grand. I like that you put dates on all your action steps, and I wondered if you avoided April Fool's Day for a good reason. <laughs> no, no, actually I didn't. But uh, I'm, I'm not pulling your leg. <laughs> Any other questions, Christina? Um, I can have a question. I'm a little upset that you don't uh, not going to deliver in Johnson County, but I understand why. I'll meet you at State Line. I was going to say, you can meet me at my house. I'll meet you at State Line. And I'll do it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, uh, I sort of have a question because being uh, uh, a one time poor college student, um, I noticed that a couple of the different liquor stores have different prices for certain alcohols. 
So like, for instance, I would go to the cheaper ones instead of the more expensive ones. I don't know if that comes into play as far doesn't, as... It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't. Okay, I don't know, know if that's something that like your business more like... So like, what I do is like, call a request that you go to the cheaper one, or like, you know what I mean? I didn't know if that's something that you, like your company would be able to control or... Minimum order, is that what you're asking about? I'm talking, like... No, because you don't care. You don't care what. There's no minimum. I don't care. I, I just want the. You get ten dollars whether they're ordering one bottle. Or I want eighty percent of whatever their delivery fee is. I'm going off the mobilia fee, which is ten dollars. Okay. Questions? Anything else? That's it.